five, six, seven, eight. Is he not having fun, y'all? <laughs> Come on, Tang. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another Jazz Drummer Q-Tip of the Week. Yes, I have my mug and my green tea, and you know what that means. It's time to react to another video, and this one I can't tell you, I've probably watched this video more than any other video on YouTube. Um, not because there aren't other videos that I love. I just love watching it. And a lot of my students have pr I've shown it to them as well. It's just so killing. And the drummer, Jeff Tane Watts, if you don't know him, you need to know him. That's why I do these videos to make sure you do know that he's one of the baddest, one of the greatest. And he was such an, and he still is, but especially around this period in the 90s, um, everyone in my generation and older and younger, everyone was checking out Jeff Tane Watts because he is such a force, such an incredible musician, um, comes through the lineage of Elvin Jones, but then has taken it and really created a sound of his own. Um, this is a video of him playing with the Kenny Garrett Quartet, in, including the late, great Kenny Kirkland. Um, and on the bass, Nat Reeves. Trust me, you're going to love it. Um, it's exciting. It's inspiring. It's invigorating like this green tea. Make sure you watch the whole thing because it gives you context of how everything kind of fits together, right? Um, you notice my reaction videos, unlike a lot of others, my reactions don't just focus on drum solos, though I'll probably do it, be doing that at some point. But I like to make sure that I talk about and put in context what the drummers are doing. Otherwise, what's the point? You know, just drums is not um, the whole picture. So, all right, you know what time it is. It's time to jump into this bad boy. Jeff Tane Watts is going to blow your mind because he blows my mind every time I hear him. I got a funny story. Maybe I'll insert it at some point during the reaction. Anyway, if you're ready, then I'm ready. You know I'm ready. I'm always ready. Are you guys ready this time? Don't I don't want any comments to say I didn't know I didn't know it was gonna be that I'm warning you right now get ready get your stuff get whatever you got to get you know the drill get comfortable because this is bad this is incredible this is mind blowing so if you're ready then let's go let's go let's go all right you guys said you're ready here we go. This is from Jazz Baltica 1997 from Kenny Garrett's album called Songbook. You gotta check that thing out. Again, Jeff Tane Watts. I play this for my students in case they don't know who Jeff Tane Watts is. He's one of the most influential jazz drummers of our time, still living today. Incredible. Already feels good. You got me moving. I've probably watched this over 50 times, no lie. Dang. Okay, here's an eight measures. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, come on, Tane. You know I got to play that again. I'll, I'll shut up this time, but keep that in mind. There's eight measures there where it's kind of like a drummer showcase. Every drummer who plays this song, they kind of take their cues from Tane um, and do they do their own thing. But but this is, he's the man. Check it out. Eight measures. And then they're into the, the blowing section. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Come on. Excuse me while I dance a little bit. So this is, there's no form, it's just one chord, modal jazz. Similar to John Coltrane Quartet, when they play something like um, A Love Supreme, right? Resolution, similar. 
Just keep the eight measure phrasing though. Five, six, seven, eight. Is he not having fun, y'all? <laughs> I want to make sure you know about a 20% off of all play along tracks that include walking bass available in my digital download store. I'll put the link down below. I use this thing every day, and you should too if you want to improve your time and your feel. Check it out. Come on, Tang. I'll try to be quiet. <laughs> Hard to contain myself sometimes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Kenny. Kenny Kirkland. Woo! The, the, the build intention and when they release. Ah. One, two, three, four. Oh! Wow! Uh. He's just back there grooving. As much stuff as he's playing, it, it always feels good. Always. A lot of triplets. Get your triplets together, y'all. Oh, he's turning around. He's turning around to the drums. He's calling Jeff. He's calling Tane. Here we go. Here we go. Try to keep the eight measure form. One, two. Hey, one, two, three. Oh. Oh. They're having a conversation in rhythm and swing. Four, five, six, seven. Matt Reeves likes it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Ah. Six, seven, eight. Wow! Ah, uh, here's the interlude. Ah, uh, it's too much. It's too much. In a good way. Oh, man. Okay, I gotta pause it right there. Tension and release, that's what this is all about. It's also all, all about keeping it feeling good, right? So they're creating tension using polyrhythms and uh, lots of interplay and accents and cross rhythms um, and the Eight measure phrasing is there, right? I'm counting it out. But sometimes they adhere to it. Sometimes they kind of play around it, right? And create a longer phrase and release at a later time. But either way, that release still is adhering to the natural form of the eight measure phrasing. And so they're using that as a platform to play and to express themselves, right? In a very good feeling way in a deep way right and it's reminiscent of rhythms that you would hear it's obviously a different context but rhythms that you would hear in west african drumming where you hear all these different layers happening right the whole time though it feels great and it makes you want to dance and if you're not dancing i'm gonna come through this camera and get you because you should be dancing just like tane watts everybody in this band is dancing you can see them they're enjoying the the, the euphoric feeling that the swing can create through all of that tension and releasing. 
So, okay. There's Kenny Kirkland solo. Right? Just pay attention to the phrasing. Then they get back to the minor, the minor sound right here. And you notice he, Tane is playing a little less now. You gotta be a little more sensitive when you're playing behind piano until he really starts playing bigger. That is just groove back there. Every quarter note. Uh. You see Kenny Garrett's right hand is tapping that quarter note. Spot that quarter note. Ah. Come on, Kenny. He's got that bling happening, too. Nice watch. <laughs> ah. Ah. He's another musician who's influenced so many pianists. It's ridiculous. He lost him too young. Ah. They didn't release there. They release later. Here's the top of the. There's the release. You get it? You gotta do it again. Okay, they're gonna use the fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No release, no release. Two. Six, seven, eight, release. You see? Ah. Woo. Big chords. Love ah. So great. Everybody. Join in if you know it. <laughs> oh, so they, they ended the way they started. Revival. Look at that left hand. So much power. That octagon, that rock the gun. Oh man. Wow. Wow. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, we gotta get that ending again. I gotta get that ending again. Just in case you don't know how to end a song like this. <laughs> Check this out. Ah, oh, ah, whoa. Wow, wow. <laughs> love it, love it. All right, what'd you think? Pretty powerful stuff, right? And all the while, it was swinging. The whole time, it felt great. You could snap your fingers the whole time. And that's how you know you're listening to tr real jazz that has that, that finger-popping quality that makes you want to move and dance. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Again, 20% off of the walking play-along play-alongs. Play-along play-along? The walking base play-alongs. Um, and that will not last long. So check it out. The link is down below. Until the next time, you know what to do, right? You do know what to do, right? Oh, if you don't know, well, let me tell you. Practice hard, but practice smart. Take care. Bye-bye.